your boy Kevin back with another video today we got the NOAA 5 Pro this phone is from Wish website you can get it for $90 today we're gonna open it and go through the whole specs and all the stuff that comes with it and I'm gonna let you guys know how's the phone is it worth to buy or not so let's start the video first thing first please subscribe like for more upcoming videos and i'll see you guys in a second let's open this see what it is okay the, first of all the box comes in this like a really cheap made box like a, let's put this up put this away okay let's go first down let's see what else it comes in it comes with the wall charger Just cables. That's so far. Yeah, those cheap cables. Does it come with headphones? Yes, it does. It comes with really cheap headphones, like from dollar store. And does it have a button? Yeah, it does have a button, so you can use it for calling too. And this comes with the phone case too. So it's a, like one shop. So you don't have to buy this, buy that, or it comes with everything. It's alright. It's very cheap. And it comes with a phone screen protector. So you can put this on. That's that's good for them to put that in. Okay, let's put all this. And okay, let's see how the phone looks like. Take this out. Put that away. Okay, so you got one two three cameras with a flash but only one is real these are all fake and it says hd camera i do not believe that okay, you have one button here one button here one speaker here this is a fake one you got the water drop but it's fake it's no cam it's no cam there is a cam right here and that's pretty much it and the back is dark green. This plastic thing doesn't even come off. Specs. It's NOAA 5 Pro 6.1 inch display, 8 plus 128 gigabyte storage, 10 core Android 9, camera is 13 MP front, processor is MTK6592. And the battery, it is uh, 4000 milliamp. I'm gonna boot the phone up, get it ready, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Back. First of all, let me tell you guys something. This phone, under at, it says it's HD. Um, uh, it, they, they tell you that the screen quality, it's FHD. The camera quality is top notch and everything. This phone, it's all bull. So do not listen on the, what they tell you on the app. Personally, what I, just in like 15 minutes, I've been going through this phone. This phone does not look what they tell you on the on the app. And this is from Wish. I'll show you guys in a minute what I mean. I boot it up and it's got front face ID and front fingerprint scanner. But the fingerprint scanner in the front here, it's fake. But the face ID, I think it works. I'll show you guys how it works. So the face ID pops right in the front right here, guys. Boom. It has to scan your face. It didn't scan me. Let me try it. It's really bad with Face ID. Oh, it opened it now. So that's how the Face ID works. And the fingerprint scanner in the front is fake. It, it's just a, it's just fake. And they tell you that the quality on the screen is like the best. It's top notch. The quality of the screen, it is so bad. Let me go through the settings and everything for you guys. So you guys can see what I mean. Let's open it. Okay, so let's start from the top settings. So you got your Wi-Fi, you got your uh, volume. Auto rotate, Bluetooth. Um, let me put the thing up. Airplane mode, flashlight. Let's see the flashlight. Boom, flashlight. And uh, this one is that projection thing. You can project uh, your phone into the TV. I haven't tried it, so I don't know if it even works. But uh, it's got Google Play. Google Play. Um, let's go to the actual main menu. This is settings, so you got your Wi-Fi, you got your Bluetooth, you got your data, more. Let's go to more. Airplane mode, default, messages, turning, portable hotspot. Let's go down. Audio profile, let's go to that. General silent meeting, outdoors, so you can set it up whatever you like. Now we got the display. Let's check out the display. 
uh, screen notification, uh, temps, wallpapers. Let's check out what kind of wallpaper this thing has. So you got your gallery wallpaper, whatever, like your photos and all that stuff. So you got your wall, your live wallpaper, and you got your actual wallpapers. Let's see if it even gives you any. So you got this hard looking, you got this, you got that. Let's set that. Okay, let's go back. So then you got your brightness. Let's check out that's the brightest you'll get. That's like max. Auto rotate, incoming flash, um, sleep time, front size. So you can put it like uh, if you have bad eyes, you can zoom it and zoom like uh, zoom the words and stuff so you can see better. That's pretty much it for the setting. Like it's absolutely got this phone has nothing. Like I don't even know what to like for the review on this phone. It's not much to even say. So battery, you got a. Uh, it tells me I got 59 minutes left and it tells you how much you're using and what and what apps are using draining your battery then you got your location security and languages security um, uh, it's your face ID um, uh, screen lock you can put your fingerprint but the fingerprint is all bull that does not work and you got your backup reset Google accounts um, schedule power on and off um, screen uh, printing so you can actually print with this. Yeah, about phone, it's running on Android 9 Pi. Some people call it VIP, if you guys can see there, Android 9 Pi. And that's the processor, hey 10 core. Let's see how it does on gaming. I downloaded the hunting animals. Let's play it, see how it handles, and let's see how the quality on it is. Let's see. Let's go up. I'm not a good gamer, guys, so sorry. I'm not that good. We're playing games. Where's the animals? Let's shoot something. Boom. Nothing to shoot. Okay. But if you guys can see the quality on the screen, it's not that good. But it can handle some games. I guess you can play. I tried to download Asphalt 9. It will not let, let me download it because the game is too big for it. But the Asphalt 8, you can download. Okay, so let's see what kind of apps this phone comes with. Let's open it here. You can actually put your own launcher if you want. You can download it. It's got a Google Play Store, so you can download whatever apps you like, and you can download them in. It's going to take a bit of time to download, but you can have any app you want pretty much. So you got your calculator, you got your browser, you got backup and reset, uh, calendar, your uh, camera, clock, alarm, whatever, download, email, uh, face unlock, Facebook, uh, file manager, flashlight, FM AM radio, gallery, Google settings, you got your messenger, you got your uh, Google map, let's check that out, we're going to check that out after, your messages, your movie and studio, your music, your Max player, okay Google, and uh, phone, photo, I downloaded actually Google photo, Play Store, settings and videos, to do, sound recording and your sim card and this phone takes two sim cards and uh, you got your youtube and you got your whatsapp app so yeah let's go check out that map uh google map let's see how long it takes to download i mean to upload oh, i have to set it up i haven't set it up yet oh there we go so upload it pretty okay not 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 too uh long so yeah, that's pretty much for that. Let's see, it's got it's got a lot lots of lag. Um, it's not a fast phone. Lot of lag, if you guys can see, like a lot of lag. No multitasking, like nothing like that. Like lots of lag. Let's check out the camera quality. The only good thing about this phone is when you're taking selfies, it's gotta actually flash up there. So when you're taking a selfie, the flash turns on so it gives you more brighter um, uh, pictures but the picture quality on this thing it is not that good the video quality it is not that good um, so to go to settings that's pretty much it color uh, color effects you can actually put color effects into your uh, pictures you got scene modes let's go to that you got auto night mode and white balances you can play it on with that anti flicker uh, 500 guess let's put it onto this and that's pretty much it and for the camera you got face detection let's turn it on 
soft timer you can put that on picture size 16 pixel that's probably max but it lets you and preview size standard let's see what else does that so put up on full oh so you can turn this whole thing to full now and for video let's see mic it's on audio mode normal uh lab interview we don't want that video quality let's see it's a high right now and the high is not that good these are some pictures I took I'm going to show you guys you guys look at them yourself and you can decide if they're good or not but I think they're really bad let's press that's the front front flash so that's the only good thing about it is actually flash right there so it's flashing towards me and it's recording but the quality is really bad so that's for the front it's picture or video that's a picture that's a selfie this one I took a video of my dog you guys can see is really dark videos and it's got a lag between of it and that's full zoom if you go full zoom you cannot see anything and if you're trying to take uh, videos or pictures at night time absolutely nothing you cannot see anything so yeah, picture video quality is really bad. It's like really bad. And that's a front picture that I took with the front camera. Even that one is bad. And like it really, I have a lot of lights here, like a studio light and it still looks so bad. So yeah, that's pretty much for the camera quality. Camera is bad. Video is bad. Selfie is bad. Okay, now let's check out the video quality on this so you guys can see what kind of quality this phone has. I think it's really bad, but let you guys decide yourself too again. So that's the video quality. It is not good at all. It's got lag in there. It's cutting off at the same time and it's playing and everything sh seems like it's in slow motion. So video quality to watch videos on here? Absolutely not. It is bad, so bad. And sound speakers are not that good. It sounds like shit. That's pretty much. Sounds so bad. Pretty much my opinion about this phone. This phone, it is worthless. It is bad. The cameras, they tell you it's got three cameras, but only one camera works. Front camera, it is so bad. The only thing good about the front camera is because it's got a flash, that's the only thing good about it. The phone, once you get it, boot it up, seems like the phone is fast but as soon as you download a couple apps the phone gets so slow you cannot even use it it's like back in the days when the smartphones the first smartphone came in that's how slow this phone is you can't even watch a video on here you start cutting off you cannot download anything you cannot take pictures you cannot take videos because everything looks so bad but uh that's pretty much i think is the worst money i ever spent and uh my opinion this phone it is worthless it is not worth it the only good thing this phone can be used for you can use it as a scumbag phone you know just uh, making phone calls throw it away and that's it you know pretty much after this video I'm gonna grab this phone I'm gonna throw it in the garbage that's pretty much what I'm gonna do but I don't know what do you guys think please comment down below you guys let me know what do you guys think and uh, I'm gonna end the video here this is your boy Kevin thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe like for more upcoming videos I upload videos almost every day every day I upload videos so I catch you guys on the next one so peace out for now